What's up guys, this is John from Heavy Set Tactical. This is technically not an unboxing because I peeked at it already. This was another birthday present to myself. Um, for a while, uh, you know, I've heard about White River Knife and Tool. And I've seen some White River uh, knife videos. And, and you know, I've, I've known for a long time that their products are next level. I brought it in the box today uh, because I really wanted you guys to see the quality of what you're getting. Some knife knife places that you buy from don't send you the original box it comes in. They just send you the knife. Sometimes Blade HQ does that. Even though I trust Blade HQ with every single purchase I've made, God, I've, I've given them go those guys so much service it would make your head spin. But I'm telling you, uh, another company that I've given a lot of my knife knife purchases from is TKC, the knife connection, one word. That that's where I bought this from, and they always, you know, every time I order a knife from them, it's triple bagged in uh, in UPS bags, triple sealed, padded bags, um, which I appreciate so much. Really, it you know when they take the time to triple wrap everything that they send, all my LT rights I got from there. All my SE products I've got from there. Those guys are just great. They really take care of you. And I understand that they have some new knife builder stuff, which is cool. So I bid further ado. This is the White River Knife and Tool Ursus 45. Ursus, U-R-S-U-S, -S, is, I believe, Latin for, the, the, uh, for bear. And it has to do with star constellations or something like that. Ursus is a constellation, I believe. White River Knife and Tool Ursus 45. They have it in three colors now. It used to come in five different colors. One was like linen micarta, a couple others. This is in uh, black burlap micarta. So again, it comes with your sheet, you know, that says all, all the info and just an authenticity card. So this is the Ursus 45 in black burlap micarta. Now, the knife does come right now on Blade HQ, I believe, and on TKC, the knife connection. You can get black micarta, black burlap micarta with the matching fire steel, brown burlap micarta, which is a lot lighter kind of brown, you know, regular brown micarta with burlap, or you can get it in like OD green black layered micarta which has a little more texture, but I like the sleek and clean look of the black micarta. Now the sheath, you know, every single inch of this dangler, dangler sheath, which I love danglers because when you have a jacket on and it's winter time, this will sit lower on your, uh, on your hip, you know, so you can really have access to your knife and it's not up riding on you. And uh, so I like danglers, I don't have as many, but I do appreciate them for what they are but every inch of this knife and the sheath was very well thought out planned out and maneuvered you know everything is perfect the thumb ramp all the edges are nice and polished so this is the ursus 45 in s35 vn originally they had a cpm 3v version but I think because of the thin blade, they wanted that edge retention, that S35 VN steel. Plus, you know, it's stainless. It's not going to rust as quickly. The corrosion resistance is slightly higher than the uh, CPM 3V. Now, I get caught up sometimes on, on being a steel snob. And I understand that. It comes with the territory. But when you want a slicer... When you want a knife that has an edge out of the box that is so crazy sharp, you know, you want to go with S35 VN steel. So I'm grabbing a piece of, of uh, you know, printer paper because I want to show you guys this edge out of the box. I haven't, I haven't really used this knife and I haven't sharpened it whatsoever. And I want to show you guys just how sharp this knife is. This knife, out of the box, is so freaking crazy, scary, sharp. Shave your face sharp. Whoa. 
So, <laughs> got paper all over the freaking place. This knife came so dangerously sharp that I, you know, when you get a knife that comes out of the box like that, there's also, there's always a level of respect that I give these knife companies. Um, you know, and, and this, this knife company had my utmost respect with the blade that comes, comes on this knife. Now it's a nice stonewashed finish. I'm going to throw you guys some, uh, some specs here real quick. So Ursus 45, black burlap, uh, micarta, fixed blade, 9.5 inches overall. The blade length is 4.5 inches. The blade thickness is a lot thinner profile than some heavy use knives. Like I just did a video on the Topps Fieldcraft, Topps Bob Fieldcraft. This is a little thinner. This is uh, 0.158 inches thick. It's a, a decently light knife. Um, it's got a, it's got a great weight to it for just like a carving and overall kind of camp knife, overall bushcrafting. You know, I, I think it has the ability for some hard use. It's 58 to 60 on the HRC scale, CPM S35 VN stainless steel, and it's 8.3 ounces. So it's got a really good weight to it. It's not too heavy. Now, these guys put a lot of thought into their knives and a, and, and a lot of care into their knives. The sheaths, you can get this with a leather sheath, but to me, there, nothing beats a very, very well thought out and very well made Kydex um, sheath. And this is one of those Kydex danglers that is just ridiculous. And you don't get a lot of knives that come with, bushcrafting knives, that come with a Kydex sheath that is a dangler. So it's pretty great. Um, you know, the stock's a lot thinner than some of my hard use knives. But this handle, this handle is rounded off on the spine. You can see the profile of it a little better there. Okay, now there we go. So you can see how it's rounded across the bottom. The fit and finish is absolutely perfect on this knife. Sometimes there's a little chipping around these holes, but they definitely polish it. And that's just the nature of micarta, especially burlap, because it has those cross members. So I think sometimes they just chip out when they're, when they're drilling those holes through the handles. But my hand fits around, there's not as much room to play with, but my hand fits around this knife so comfortably and so well it's just it's maddening how how comfortable this knife is really it it's crazy i i knew i was gonna like it i've i've had one in my in my inbox row or not my inbox my uh you know my list of knives i want to buy uh for quite some time and i'm telling you i am so happy i pulled the trigger on it so on the spine here, the spine is a little rough cut because it is a true 90 degree for striking that ferro rod, you know, and I'll show you on my, try to show you on my nail a little bit. Huge curls coming out. Uh, it's a big, 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 big spine. Nice. The whole way down is sharp. Sharp as a razor, man. You know, not obviously not a razor, but, but just a, a true 90 degree spine the entire way down. Except if you can see it a little bit. You can kind of see it, but just take my... Yeah, right there you can see it. See the shininess st uh, stops right here? So they put some, put some thought on our thumb positioning on this knife. And from right here back is rounded. So obviously, obviously they had to grind it and round this part for the full tang t to connect to the handle there because there's no, um, you know, there's no liner. But they stopped it right here, so you could have the entirety of the blade with a really sharp 90 degree edge, but you get the 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 more subtle roundedness for about a thumb's width. Of the blade, so it makes it for for a super comfortable grab, uh, really really comfortable use knife. You know, I just knew I was gonna love it. I love the handle geometry. It's a little bit thinner. It's not that broomstick handle like on some LT rights. I do enjoy that for woodworking, but this 
this is just so comfortable and as you guys saw you know some of you knife guys that cut paper to check your edge after you sharpen your knives you know you you heard that and you know that this knife is a razor so uh again i i really wish one thing i wish that i had um uh, some kind of some better specs on it. Sometimes the knife connection comes with a little less information than um, Blade HQ does. But again, I gave you guys all the general stuff, and this Fire Steel has a really tight retention in there. Um, I think I still have it lying around. Yeah. So again, I was showing you guys in my last video, I believe, the thickness of the tops. Um, the Topps uh, Bob Bushcrafter Flint. This one is a little thinner. So this one is more of like a 3 16th. This is more of a quarter inch. You can see it there. But who, who doesn't love a matching fire steel? And I'm sure it's decent fire steel. This is a just a perfect, really, really sharp 90 degree edge. Um, so again, I cannot wait to put this knife through some paces and, and kind of get back to you guys about it. I'm going to take it out on the town with the Topps Bushcraft or Topps Fieldcraft this weekend. And I'll let you guys know how it goes. But again, fit and finish, you know, it, it comes in this beautifully, beautifully constructed slide together, you know, almost cigar style box. I had to cut this seal on it. I don't know if you can see that. I had to cut the seal on it to open it. Just a beautiful box, beautiful presentation, you know, authenticity card. Now, again, these knives are the same price everywhere I found them. This is the Ursus 45 by White River Knife and Tool in black burlap micarta. They have brown burlap on uh, the knife connection, and they have the OD linen and black micarta. Now these are $249.95 on every website from Blade HQ. I'll drop a link for because I trust those guys. And, and what you're paying for is what you're getting. And then also on the knife connection, I'll drop a link for you guys where I purchased this knife. Um, and that's $249.95 exactly. Now, you guys know I say this all the time. I love good retention. I love that positive click. And the thumb ramp on this knife is so comfortable. It has this big buffed shield on the front to block your hand from the blade. You know, if I'm holding here, holding here, there's no exposed part right there where I can catch my fingers. Really great positive clip. Just loving this thing, man. I love it. Everything about this knife I love. Um, and all those are stamped with a number. I, I don't know if that's a production number or what. It's different on each one I've seen. And I love the fit and finish. Couldn't be any better. Nice big lanyard hole. I'm probably going to put a paracord loop on this. Um, just can't beat it, you know. And I know, I knew that handle was going to be right up my alley. Because I don't have as long fingers. I have huge palms, but not as long fingers. So this this fits in my hand. Just nice, and I can get a nice wrap around and, and connect my thumb and trigger finger. Uh, so super comfortable, you know. Reverse grip is super comfortable. This is just a, this is a, a kind of more of like a gentleman's uh, a, a camp knife, belt knife, bushcrafting knife. I know that it's built to be able to withstand hard use, but in my opinion, I'll save the hard use for a little bit thicker stock like the... Uh, the tops bob um but you know i know i know that this knife would be able to handle it i just think that i want to keep it as nice as i can because it's such a beautifully constructed knife and on the sheath you know every inch of this these clasps were thought out very well this is this is like a uh like a pleather not not a not a pleather that was bad terminology but this is a seriously durable tight some type of synthetic rubber super durable super 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 durable uh, this knife is never gonna come off your hip and that thumb ramp is just so comfortable there and they give a little extra security that you're not gonna get in there and cut yourself or cut your pants or cut 
anything that could be hanging in the way there. I like that flared out opening. Um, you know, I, I could ramble on forever about this knife. I've thought about buying it for a long time, and I just think that it, it was well thought out, well constructed. Everything on the sheath is well constructed. Really great drainage hole with a little trench along the center of the knife there. So again, getting really close to my uh, my survive knives coming in the mail. Uh, got a couple of GSOs, got a couple of bush smaller EDC bushcrafters. Talked to the guys at Survive Knives, and I, they know the production is slow a little bit sometimes, but they make a product. My buddy's got a couple of them, and I used them on the on the Appalachian this weekend, and they are knockout. So I'm really excited to show you guys some of the knives coming up, but. I've, I've been wanting to get one of these, and I'm happy I was able to. So, again, these are $250. Um, just just an excellent purchase if you guys want a 9.5-inch overall, you know, just camp task, bushcraft, belt knife. Just an excellent, excellent fit and finish. And, and just enough hand touch to let you know that they're not a big production kind of BS company. Some of these guys offer great knives production knives don't get me wrong but this is one of those one of those uh smaller operation really well thought out perfect fit and finish just just really comfortable beautiful knives and the box they come in so again i really appreciate you guys watching my content i do this for free because i love sharing my uh passion with you and my hobbies with you even if there's some people that don't like to hear me ramble on about my knives I wouldn't buy them if I didn't love them, you know. So I'm going to put some of these through their paces. You know, I'm sure I'll get back to you guys about it. Uh, just have a good week. Stay safe and stay heavy. Thanks, guys.